So the first type of bug out bag that I want to discuss is what I consider to be the get home bag. Now this is going to be something that you carry in the trunk of your car or in the back of your vehicle. And this is just enough, the bare essentials to get you from your place of employment back home so you can gear up and get ready to bug out. Now you don't need a large pack. You just need the bare essentials, uh, the five core essentials, which I'll be discussing later. And depending on what geographical area you live in, this bag is gonna change. I cannot sit here and tell you exactly, for any of these packs, what to put in your bag. You're gonna have to take into consideration the time of year, what area of the country you live in, your temperature, how populated it is, where you're gonna be traveling. You need to take all these things into consideration. So I'm gonna give you the basics, and then you are gonna take those basics and change it to your area. The other small size bug out bag you'll carry is what I call an assault pack. My personal assault bag today is a Condor fuel hydration pack. Again, you want this to be lean and mean and compact as possible and not to interfere with your weapon loadout or plate carrier. This pack will primarily be used to carry your survival essentials, a single MRE and extra magazines of ammo. You'll be using this pack once you get to your retreat or you're in your safe area. This is the pack you will take with you if you need to leave the retreat to go out hunting, gather firewood, set an ambush, or while walking a patrol on your property. It'll also provide enough supplies to get you by if you get stranded out for a day or two away from home. Next comes your actual three or four day bug out bag. In previous years, my bug out bag resembled more of a lone wolf pack and it wasn't until after a backpacking trip where I realized there was no reason to carry half the crap I was carrying to my retreat. Over the course of three days in the forest, I hadn't used half the items I'd brought with me. Why was I carrying half of this stuff anyway? Each item had seemed like a good idea at the time, same goes with your bug out bag supplies. Most of the things you plan to take with you could be staged at your retreat location or your safe area much easier than carrying it with you on the way. Why would you want to burden yourself with a 70 pound pack when you could just as easily reach your destination while keeping your bug out bag to under 30 pounds? There is no need to carry a radio on you as you can easily go three days without finding out what's going on in the outside world. Same with snares and snaring wire. You don't need soap, you don't need toothpaste or a change of clothes. You might get a little funky, but who hasn't gone three days without a shower before? Why carry the extra weight? Your priority is reaching your bug out location as quickly as possible. On and on, I went pulling items out of my pack until I realized I'm going to need to buy an actual smaller pack now as well. This is going to be very stressful time for you and your family. You can't really make it an enjoyable trip but you can make it suck a whole lot less by carrying half the weight. The Lone Wolf Pack is the largest of the four and totally dependent on your particular circumstances and the geographical area you'll be bugging out into. I am staunchly against the Lone Wolf approach as a bug out strategy. But once you are at your retreat location or your safe location, you need to put together a Lone Wolf type of pack just in case you get overrun or need to flee at a moment's notice. This is a very tough pack to nail down as there are so many things that you're going to need to live off the land until you can find a safe environment to move back to. When I was in my early 20s, I regularly carried over 100 pounds in a Kelty pack during my sear days in Washington State. Today I wouldn't make two miles with a pack like that. You need to pack your lone wolf bag with as much gear as possible yet still remain mobile. One other thing to consider when looking for a bug out bag is how you're gonna carry your spare magazines for your battle rifle. I personally am a big fan of wearing a battle belt. This is a system that you can use for years. Uh, you can carry it with you when you go out to farm. You can carry it with you when you go out on patrol and you don't have to, to always be wearing a vest. The other problem with wearing a quote tactical vest with a pack is the fact that you're gonna have two sets of shoulder straps going over top of each other and that's gonna get uncomfortable on a long journey. Typically when looking for a pack for your body type, you're gonna to wanna to look for a pack that obviously rests on your shoulders and the bottom part rests around your tailbone area. If you're gonna be wearing a battle belt, you're gonna to need to find a pack that's shorter on your body where it can ride above your battle belt. You also wanna make sure that the belly band of the pack does not interfere with your draw stroke when you're drawing. These are my personal recommendations for the various bug out bags. For a get home bag, you do not need anything large. In fact, you can use just about any knapsack or backpack that you have at your house now. My personal get home bag is this Drago Scout Pack. This is also going to act as my spouse's bug out bag once we leave. The assault bag is something that you're gonna be carrying a lot of once you reach your retreat. While on patrol, taking it with you when you go out to farm, you wanna make sure this is lightweight, lean, and mean. I recommend the Condor Fuel Hydration Pack or a Camelback Mule for this purpose. I like the, 
the Condor pack because it has molly webbing on the front and I can attach extra magazines. For your three or four day bug out bag, which you're gonna be carrying with you to your retreat, I recommend the Drago Assault Bag. It's got molly webbing all over it. You can put all kinds of attachments. I've got magazine pouches, pistol magazine pouches, my first aid kit, my canteen holder, my bolt knife, all mounted to the molly webbing on the outside of the pack. It is very compact. It carries the load very well. This you can pick up for about $60 on Amazon. If money is no option, then I highly recommend this Everly Stock Little Brother Pack. Everly Stock is pretty much considered the gold standard in tactical bags and bug out bags today. You're probably gonna pay over $200 for a pack similar to this. For the Lone Wolf style pack, I would recommend a external frame, something that can distribute the load and carry a lot of weight. A good brand of pack for this sort of purpose is gonna be Kelty. The only problem with Kelty packs is the fact that it's hard to find them in earth tone colors. They're typically your bright blues and reds. My personal recommendation for a Lone Wolf style pack would be the Alps Commander. You can find it for just over $100 online. It is an external frame pack, comes in a, a tan type color. If you're working on a budget, then I would recommend picking up an Alice pack in the large size, and that'll carry a lot of gear as well.